take a look at example one. Right, what we know here is this identity. Okay, that we know that a x minus one bracket x minus two bracket plus b x minus one plus c is the same or equivalent to 3x squared minus 7x plus 9. Okay, now how do we approach this question? How do we even do this question? Well, there are essentially two ways you can do this. Let's talk about method 1. Method 1 is the most straightforward but may not be the easiest. Okay, because um, for people who tend to be careless, uh, this is what you may want to avoid. It will be to expand the left-hand side and then compare with the right-hand side. So this is what you will get. Okay, so when you expand this, um, uh, this product, you get x squared minus 3x plus 2. Okay, and of course you multiply in the b, you get bx minus b, and of course then you plus a c. Okay, is equal to 3x squared minus 7x plus 9. Okay, so when you multiply in the a, you get ax squared minus 3ax plus 2a, alright, plus bx minus b plus c is equal to the same thing at the right hand side. Okay, now what we do next is, of course, arrange the x square, okay, and x and the constants all together. So what we have here, we have negative 3x, 3ax and uh, positive bx. So when grouped together, okay, this will become b minus 3ax. Okay, as for the last term, the constant, we have 2a minus b plus c. Alright, now this is equivalent to 3x squared minus 7x plus 9. Okay, now then we compare. So it is rather obvious from here that, you know, a has to be equal to 3, right? Okay, simply um, because ax squared is the same as 3x squared and therefore a has to be 3. Okay, likewise we can form an equation for this. We have um, b minus 3a will give us negative 7. Okay, how do we get that? Well, as you can see, the left hand side you have b minus 3a, right hand side you have 7. Okay, so these two are the same. Okay, and therefore b minus 3a will be equal to negative 7. Now, since we know that a is equal to 3, so we know that, well, b minus 9 will be negative 7, and therefore, well, you know, shifting here and there, we should get um, b as 2. Should be okay for now, right? So we move on to the next one. Alright, the, um, the last part of it. As we can see, right here, this is the constant. And here, this is the constant, so we know that, again, they are the same. Alright, and thus, we know that our 2a minus b plus c will be equivalent to 9. And since we already know what is a and what is b, we just, you know, substitute in the a equals to 3 and b equals to 2 into this equation, we'll get 6 minus 2 plus c is equal to 9. Isn't it? Okay, and therefore, okay, shifting here and there over again, this is 4. So 9 minus 4, they will give us a 5. So A is equal to 3, alright, and B is equal to 2, while C is equal to 5. This is how we use the first method, which is to expand everything, okay, and then compare side by side. Alright, let's take a look at method number 2. Now, method number 2 okay is of course different from uh, what we have seen in method number one which is the expansion method ex expand everything and then compare uh, method number two is the substitution method okay uh, what do I mean by substitu uh, substitution method okay now let's take a look at the same example same question so let us uh, copy it down first okay so we have this um, alright x minus one plus c is equivalent to 
3x squared minus 7x plus 9. Okay, so same question, the different method. Now, how do we solve for a, b, and c without having to expand everything? Okay, substitution method works this way. All right, which is very, very important and very, very useful. Okay, could be something like a shortcut. Okay, so what we do is, as you can see here, there's an x minus 1 and there's an x minus 1 here as well, right? So when we substitute x is equal to 1, okay, into the identity, into the equation. Now what do we got here? Okay, we have a, and of course 1 minus 1, and of course we have 1 minus 2, plus b, and of course 1 minus 1 here, and plus c. Okay, likewise we must also substitute in x equals to 1 to the right hand side. So um, 1 squared is 1, so multiply by 3, there will be a 3 minus with 7 plus 9. Now what happens here? 1 minus 1 is obviously 0, so 0 multiplied by anything is 0, exactly. So this thing becomes 0, this thing becomes 0, so basically 0 plus 0 plus c, and you got your c. Okay, so your c would be of course um, 3 minus... Uh, 7, which should be minus 4, minus 4 plus 9, which should give you 5. Okay, earlier on we figured out that C is equal to 5, isn't it? Same. Alright, so then you may ask, okay, so this is like the, you know, how to find C here, then how do I find B? Alright, now, this is where we pay attention to this other bracket here. Okay, this is X minus 2. So, likewise, similar to the kind of concept that we see earlier on, when we substitute in X equals to 2, we realize that this a here, okay, when you multiply anything by 0, you get 0, exactly. So here, it will become 0. So for your b, alright, you have 2 minus 1, and there will be 1, so you simply get a b, okay, plus c. Now, now that you know what is c, c is 5, you just substitute it in accordingly, okay, uh, equivalent to the right-hand side, okay, you have 2, 2 square would be a 4 here, so 4 multiplied by 3, and that will give you a 12, right? Minus away, 7 multiplied by 2, and that will give you a 14, and of course plus 9. So from here, you can work out very easily as well that your B is equal to 2. Okay, likewise similar to what we have um, seen earlier on using method number 1. Okay, now, then you may ask that, Okay, so I get my B and my C. Now, there's nothing I can substitute in to eliminate the way the, a and, uh, the B and the C, isn't it? So, how do I find my A? Well, easy. Okay, it's the same method. I mean, it's the same way we use substitution as well. Okay, uh, except for now. Now, always remember now what we, are, what we are having now will be simply one unknown with one equation. So, it's uh, no problem at all. Isn't it? Okay. So let us um, rewrite the equation. Okay. But because we already know what is B and C. So we'll just write out okay, the same equation. But um, we'll put in a B's and C's value. Okay. So B is a 2. So this is a 2 minus X minus 1. Okay. Plus a 5 is equivalent to 3X squared minus 7X plus 9. Okay, so how do you solve for A this way? Okay, using the substitution method. Same. In fact, you can substitute any value you like. Okay, but uh, for uh, simplicity's sake, we always substitute, substitute in x equals to 0. Why 0? You may ask. Well, well, 0 is easier, way easier to work with. Okay, especially at the right hand side. At one glance, you should know that here, the right hand side will be a 9. Okay, and at the left hand side, you'll be left with minus 1 multiply by minus 2 and it will give positive 2 and that will give you 2a okay and of course this will give you minus 2 all right plus 5 okay so you know that well 2a is equivalent to this will give you a 3 so it's 6 so therefore a is equal to 3 oops here we go okay so this is method number 2 all right some of you may find that this method the substitution method is a lot easier than uh, the first method that we learned, which is the expansion method. Okay, um, now, then some of you may ask, which is the best, I mean, which way is the best method? Okay, so there is a best way to do this. Okay, the best way, I'll save it to uh, example 2. So take a look at example 2, I'll use, uh, demonstrate using the best method to do. Okay.